Hello everyone and welcome to my video. In this video I'll be unboxing and reviewing the Chartao BT007 Full HD 1080 Stealth Dashcam with parking mode. The dashcam comes in a package that is a cardboard box, nothing fancy. It includes the camera and all the required hardware to install and operate it, except for the SD card. The camera itself is compact, it feels sturdy and is well made. It has a 170 degrees wide angle and a Sony IMX323 sensor. The box includes a user manual in different languages. It also includes a long mini USB cable with a 12 volt plug to install in the car. A mini USB cable for the PC, a mount base that I already mounted to the car, CM tape and some cable guides. Also included is a trim prying tool to insert, to insert the cable behind the car's trim. Installing the micro SD card. The camera supports a micro SD card with a maximum capacity of 32 gigabytes. I got a class 10 card that is highly durable. The cam has five buttons to set it up and to operate it. Once plugged in, it will turn on and start recording if it has an SD card. Stop the recording by pressing the OK button and short press the M button to enter the configuration mode. The settings are comparable to other dash cams. I will highlight the important ones only. Resolution should be 1080 Full HD. Loop recording, I like to put it on 3 minutes. Wide dynamic range, make sure it is on. Motion detection, I turn it off, otherwise it will consume the internal battery in 10 minutes if you are parked in a busy area. I'm le leaving the other uh, settings by default. Parking monitor, I turn it on and I set it to low sensitivity. Now, to set the camera settings by entering the photo mode and then pressing the M button, I'm keeping the default settings here. I'm changing the quality because I like it to be fine. I'm also changing the anti-shaking anti to set it to on. The camera have, has a Wi-Fi mode. To connect Wi-Fi, go to the configuration menu and activate it. You then install the RODECAM app on your phone, connect your phone to Wi-Fi, and then connect the app to the camera. Here's a small preview of the app. I'm finishing here the other settings before installing the cam, like setting up date and time. I set the frequency to 60 Hz because I am in North America. I set the screen saver to 1 minute so the screen will turn off in 1 minute while uh, the camera is on. This is important to avoid distraction while driving. If it is the first time you are using the micro SD card, you should format it. I'm not formatting it here because I already did. The version info of the camera here shows that the firmware is from February 2019, which is fairly new. For the installation of the camera, I installed the mounting base right below my rear view mirror. Then the camera slides easily in the mounting base. I previously ran the charging wire behind the headliner down the A pillar and then over the dash 
as you see here I put it also behind the doors weather trim and then I ran it below the glove box hidden then behind the center console and to the inside of the central armrest where I plugged it in the 12 volt plug the camera appears from the outside like if it is OEM and doesn't attract attention As you see, it is installed behind the rear view mirror and it looks really nice. The picture quality is excellent. In the daytime, some glare appears, but it's not annoying. This is why I installed the dash cam. Look at the silver Hyundai on my right. The picture is crisp and it shows all the details. The license plates are easily readable. Here's another driver who doesn't respect the stop sign. Look at the Mini on my left. Transition from dark to bright is instantaneous. The picture remains clear and crisp. Here it is 7.24 pm and the sun started to set. The picture remained very good. At night, with scarce street lights, the picture is also good. Here I activated the microphone and we hear the GPS instructions right picked up Avenue. by the microphone. On the highway at night, the picture is still good, though the license plates are not readable, unless I am very close to the car in front. Overall, I like this dash cam and I am keeping it. It is a great value around 70 Canadian dollars and has everything I wanted in a dash cam. A preview about the parking mode. In parking mode, the dash cam turns on automatically if it senses movement and starts recording instantly for 30 seconds. I demonstrate this here. I picked up the cam and it turned on and started recording automatically. This is a fo footage taken after I shut the door of my car. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.